Hello again, it's John Bloodworth, Gentleman Crafter here with another Scan & Cut uh, overview. This time I'm talking about tracing images within Scan & Cut Canvas. So this is obviously the online software from Brother, which I'm just logging into. And we're going to take a look at how to use the image tracing feature. Image tracing can be found at the top. It looks like the little leaf that's uh, been sliced in half. You can also access this through the project menu. There's a little icon there with a handy pop-up tooltip saying image tracing. When you click on it, this is the window that will be presented. If you do have uh, the wireless functionality on your Scan & Cut canvas, you can obviously import from, directly from the machine through the cloud. Mm -hmm. And it's important to read some of the notes that are down the bottom as well, as they'll tell you what type of files can be imported, what size the file needs to be, and obviously any other important notes. Now, to get a file in, I just click on Choose File. And we're going to go for something basic, first of all, like this uh, flower head. That will then get loaded up into the image tracing software, and you can see it there. I've got various options, but I'm just going to go with the standard right now. And I'm going to click Preview. What you'll see happen is then a blue line will be placed around the object. We're in outline tracing mode right now, so if I click OK, this is the new message that will come up. I don't want to include the image with the import, so I'm going to click No. And there is my flower head traced. Now it is one shape because we chose outline as the tracing method. So I can treat it as such. Let's trace again, this time using the color method though. I'll click on Preview. And I might just drop the number of colors that it's looking for down to two because I've only got black and white on there. And you can see probably in the center of that flower, it's slightly different than before. So if we go in and take a closer look, we can then see this one actually has come out as one shape. Now I wouldn't have expected that. So I'll go back again, choosing color mode, and I'm going to increase that to the maximum number of colors that the uh, system can look for, which is 20. And again, I can see a slight change in the outline there. So I'm going to click OK, not cancel, OK. <laughs> and there we go. Again, a solid outline. So with a black and white image, we can expect a decent quality tracing in either method. Let's start a new one. And let's try something different. Let's load in an image that's got a few more colors. So I've got another flower head here, but as you can see, there's a couple of colors. If I trace this on an outline, what it will do is it will look for an outline around all of those colors. So it will give us a similar tracing to the black and white um, version that we did first of all, which is good. OK, so I've got one shape there. Let's try tracing that again, this time, though, looking for colors. OK, a slight difference there. You can probably see in the center. Click OK. This time, because it's recognized different colors, it's actually giving me that image in parts. So it's taken all of the different bits and sectioned them off. OK, let's try another one. This time we'll go for something I think that's got... Uh, let's try the mermaid. She's got a landlocked area. So we'll click on preview just in our outline option and what you'll see is the blue line goes all the way around the outside of the image. It hasn't found that landlocked area. If I click OK and do that you'll see there perfect outline just no landlocked area. So excuse me lady move over make room for another one. And we'll try this again this time looking for colors though and we're gonna change this, uh, sorry, leave it as it was, and we'll try again. Now you can see that there is now a blue line in the middle. If we click on OK. Now one important thing to note is it gives us an outline for each of those colors that it's found. So it actually gave me an extra cutting line on the landlocked area, which I, did, which I don't want, so I can move and delete it. So that's good when you've got a black and white image or, or a basic colored image. Let's try something a bit harder. And this time, I think I'll go for the black and white apple. Now, this is a photograph, so it's got multiple different tones and shades of uh, white through to black. 
Now, if I increase the number of colors that it's looking for to create the outline and click preview, you'll see it's done a reasonable job of finding an outline, but where those colors start to blend and merge, it has struggled a little bit. I'll show you on just two colors uh, to show you the difference. So now what it's done is it's found the borders between the lightest and the darkest regions of that design. Not too bad, but I think it might be a bit complicated to cut. If I try tracing on color with two images, you'll see a slight difference. It's actually picked up some of the um, water droplets. If I increase to the maximum number of colors, you'll see, wow, it's found lots and lots of areas of color. So all those different shades of black and white, it's really picked out all of the detail in that design. Let's load that up onto the uh, virtual mat and see what that actually looks like when it's a uh, cutting file. Okay, let's zoom in. Wow, okay, as you can see, all of those individual cut lines and outlines that it found for the individual colors are now separate shapes that we can either delete, change, edit, amend, I have a feeling, to be honest, though, this would be difficult for the machine to cut because they are, there are some very, very small areas, but I think that might get picked up later on. For this video, though, I'm really just showing the image tracing and what results you'll get. Okay, so that was a black and white photograph. Let's try another one. This time we'll use um, a color photograph. So these colored pencils look quite good. If we trace on the outline mode with a detection level of five colors, which is the standard, you'll see it's done a good job of finding most of the outlines, but where that blue background has got lots of shading involved, it has uh, included the shadows as part of that detection region. And again, even on outline with maximum color detection, we've still got some weird bits going on. Wow, okay, so with maximum colors on color outline detection, uh, sorry, with color detection, we've got a lot going on there. If I drop that down to the minimum of two, we've got some areas. I'll just take it into the middle of that range though, 10. So these are things you can play around with to get you know, the results that you need. I think you're probably getting the idea though that the clearer the outline originally, from the image, the better the trace results you'll get. Because although this does look quite artistic, there are a lot of individual elements there. And if we want to cut each one in a separate color, we're gonna to have to organize them as such. Okay, so that really concludes this uh, short video about image tracing. If you've got any questions, please do pop them at the bottom of the blog post or below the video, and I'll do my best to get back to you. Uh, in the meantime, if you want to get hold of me or follow anything else I do, you can find me in all of these places. Thanks for watching.